Starting commission seems to be one of the most exciting things you can do when you're a beginner artist. But how do you know when it's exactly time to start doing commissions? Of course, there's no set time when you should, but here are some tips that you can go off of to know when you think you are ready to start getting commissions. The first tip I have is that you can go online to a forum or an art advice thread and ask if your art is worth anything, what they would pay for it, if they would pay for it, how much your art should be priced. This can help you a lot since sometimes you can have bias towards your own art and believe your art is better than it really is or worse than it really is. So doing this can help you clear up what your art is really worth or if you should even be selling it or if you should be focusing on trying to improve your art before. The second tip I would have is would you yourself purchase the art, be honest with yourself, or how much would you purchase your art for? So to do this, you, you have to see your art the way others see it. Put yourself in a buyer's shoes. Would you buy your own art or would you not? This can help a lot um, if you still don't know if you are ready to do design, but this might not be helpful all the time since some people do struggle with this. The third tip is, are slash is your art skilled enough to be able to fulfill a hypothetical customer's demands? Can you draw a wide variety of poses or faces, or are you drawing the same three characters and the same three poses? So if you didn't really get that, I'm just saying that do you have a diverse set of art or are you just drawing the same faces, the same characters? Because the likelihood is if you are stuck in a bit of an art block or same face syndrome and you are trying to take commissions is you're just going to disappoint customers since you really can't go to what they're expecting. Since you can't really draw any dynamic poses, you can't really draw any fun scenery, it's just not going to look good in a buyer's perspective. You are most likely not going to get any more commissions in the future. The fourth tip is, do you have a dedicated following or fan base? If not, reconsider until you have built up a large enough profile or buyers to advertise to. Doing this can help save you spare time in the long run, so you're not screaming into a void. So by this, I'm not necessarily saying that you have to have like 100k, 500k followers on Instagram to start doing commissions. What I'm saying is you should probably have a bit of a fan base, a bit of followers, just people that you can connect with, friends in the community, so you're not just screaming into a void of random artists. Because if you're doing this, the likelihood of you just being swept away with the rest of the artists is really high. The fifth tip is, do you have the time or dedication to advertise and then fulfill the demands? Are you going to likely forget about it and ghost buyers or just give up advertising halfway through so you never even get any buyers to begin with? So by this, I'm basically stating that, do you have the time, do you have even the dedication to do commissions or is this gonna be just a one-time post and if anybody wants to get a commission from you, well, too bad you're not using social media anymore because you found a new thing to focus on so by doing this basically just kind of verify with yourself do you even have the time to do commissions do you have the dedication do you really want to do commissions and if you do then you're fine and now my sixth and last tip is kind of the exact opposite of tip number five and it basically is will you be too desperate to even get commissions because while having a lot of dedication isn't positive and is necessary eventually becoming too desperate is a negative and if you start pricing everything extremely low and obsessively advertising them on every form many buyers or commissioners will assume that the offer is too good to be considered true and they will think that you are a scammer or they won't even give your post the time of day assuming that you either have low quality or just straight up bad art now, of course, this makes sense when saying it out loud, but I do find that there are a lot of people who, when you go on, let's say, the DeviantArt uh, job offers job requests forums, you'll find people advertising like $1 commissions, $5 commissions. And when you see that, you think, why would I even click on that? They probably have some stinky ass doo-doo art. <laughs> or you might be thinking, oh, this is a scam. This person's going to me of my one dollar but in reality it's most of the time just really desperate artists that don't know how to properly or correctly price their art and how to properly advertise their art so that was the video i apologize if the mic quality is bad um i'm currently staying at my babushkas and dedushkas on vacation um over in latvia 
but um, I didn't bring my mic with me, of course, because I believed that I could just pre-record some audios, and I did pre-record some audios, but all of them ended up getting corrupted. So basically, I do still have all my scripts and everything for all the videos I had planned out, but now I have to use my crappy earbud microphone instead of using my home microphone. And an update on my <laughs> crappy microphone situation, since even that microphone was very crappy, I did finally get ordered a much, much higher quality microphone so by the time i get back home i'm going to have it and my videos will be much better to listen to so if you liked that video consider liking it or subscribing i was your host soul under so soul underscore skin or just soul not s-o-u-l s-o-l because i'm not freaking emo and i hope you guys have a good rest of your summer or day or week or whatever you have a good rest of